Hello everyone, my name is Enna. Welcome back to another Delta Force video. Today we're going to be taking a look at probably one of the best SMGs in Delta Force, and that's going to be the SMG 45. This weapon just feels so nostalgic to use. Throwback to like OG MW2 with the UMP 45, or even MW3, or even some of the other games that it was in as well. It just, I don't know, just kind of takes me back, man. This weapon feels incredibly powerful to use, and you'll see in the gameplay. I'm knocking triple kills down at 50 meters with an SMG. So I just think it's kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and jump into the build. And don't worry, I have the loadout code posted in the description so you can get this exact loadout and try it for yourself. Starting off with the optic, panoramic red dot sight, calibration, have it zoomed all the way out. So it's a true 1X sight. Uh, if you want to, you can definitely throw the riser on here. You can double riser stack if you want to bump up your handling a little bit. But I like calibrating my sight, so this is the route that I choose to go. Uh, elite stable stock stability stability when firing this weapon just the build that i have turns this into an absolute laser beam we're going to be calibrating um positive for the pad installation and then we're going to be going negative for the cheek pad placement this is going to give us additional aim down sight movement speed and extra firing stability for the rear grip, we're going to be rocking this Invasion rear grip. I think this is a fantastic choice on a lot of weapons in the game. Bonus control, bonus handling, calibration, bump everything up. We're going to get extra moving stability, extra control. Magazine. Uh, the the Unfortunately, the SMG45 kind of struggles early on. You've got that 20-round mag. But as soon as you get this bad boy right here, it, it, it just totally changes the game. Um, I do have the little fast mag on there as well. Been really enjoying this practical angled foregrip. I've been running this on a lot of my weapons. So even if you, you know, don't want to use it on this SMG 45, check it out on some of your other guns as well. A little bonus control, bonus handling, no negative effects. When we calibrate everything up, we're going to get extra control, extra moving stability. Um, I do like to argue the that you could technically bump it the other way and you could go for more of a handling setup. I think that's perfectly viable, but I'll let y'all make that call. Moving over to the muzzle. This is gonna be a little bit of a controversial um, choice, but I think it's still pretty viable and I think the gameplay supports that. I went with the practical suppressor. I have been really kind of messing around with suppressors, just seeing what works, what doesn't work. And even though we're going up against a lot of AI, I feel like the suppressor still has its benefits. The sound suppression seems to work pretty well for flanks. Um, but again, I'm still testing the actual viability of these of these muzzles. So if you don't want to go this route, I completely understand. Check out this Poseidon Flash Hider. Bonus control, minimal accuracy, accuracy, hit, accuracy is hip fire, and we honestly just don't care about that. And, you know... A lot of the situations with SMGs up close, like you can just, the handling's so nice, you can just aim down sights really quickly, or you can still hip fire pretty decently with this weapon. But yeah, uh, I had good luck with the practical suppressor. I think it works pretty well. You do lose out on handling. It sucks, but the this SMG, or most SMGs, are still pretty strong in the handling department, and I think you can kind of get around that. You, you can get away with running uh, a, a suppressor for your muzzle, just kind of losing a little bit on the handling. I think it's okay. Moving over to the barrel, I have ended up on the practical heavy barrel for really one reason. It's because the practical barrel doesn't offer any negative effects compared to the other two. If we look at this short barrel here, we're losing out on range, muzzle velocity, and a lot of stability, which I just don't, that's, that's just not good. And then on this one, we're losing a ton of handling and a little bit of accuracy. You know, you could argue the extra range muzzle velocity is nice to have, the extra control and stability. If you want to run this barrel, by all means, go for it. I think it's probably still okay to use, but I just I have good success with this little practical heavy barrel right here on the calibration. Bump those up, extra firing stability, extra muzzle velocity. It seems to do a pretty decent job. Um, you could run two lasers if you want. I, I do have a little purple laser on here just just because you, oh you could run through three lasers apparently. But yeah, I've got I've got one little purple laser on there. Feel free to remove that or add three more if you if you want. But yeah, that's going to complete the SMG45 build. Let me know what you think about it. I would also just like to say that I'm not pretending like I have the best build for any weapon or any setup. I'm just sharing with y'all the attachments and setups and calibrations that I've had success with. I'm still experimenting. The game's still early on. I'm still I still have a ton of a ton of stuff to learn. Y'all have actually been teaching me stuff in the comments about like the uh 
negative effects while breathing. I've been, you know, just learning extra things. So I, th I like to think that we're learning together on this journey. And I'm sure some things are going to change when the full game comes out. But it's just been a lot of fun running different weapons, running different builds, and just seeing what we can get away with in game. That's going to wrap up the commentary, though. I hope that y'all enjoyed the rest of the gameplay. We were able to achieve 90 kills on cracked attacking, and I thought it was a phenomenal round. I had a huge help from my teammate, uh, not Emily, who was playing medic, and they were just keeping me alive, keeping me healed up. So big shout out to them. Um, I really do, I really do appreciate you know hardworking medics out there that are supporting the team and, and doing what they can to help other teammates. So big shout out to Emily. Um, but yeah, I, I really think that this was a solid game. Let me know what you guys think. I'm working on a ton of other weapon builds as well. I'm working on, I, I've been trying to max out the some of the engineer class weapons. So I've got the AUG, the G3, the M7. I had a request for the Ash 11, um, but I have a ton of weapons I'm working on. I'm trying to get these videos out as fast as possible. So I see your weapon requests in the comments and I promise I'm working on it. So y'all just, just bear with me. Um, but thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Please consider dropping a like and subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I wonder if they're still there. I don't know, I can't see. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what? I got you, homie. What a play. That's a pretty hot area. Is that an AI? Bone stock M4 just prone beaming me? I think that's an AI. Nice. Thank you. I think there's a guy in the tower. Forces have taken Bravo 1. 
I, I don't know what's going on tonight, but I, I just can't have a good a, a good game to save my life, bro. It, I just the entire night, the entire night has just been awful. Just very unfortunate. I guess I need to push to the objective. Damn, I almost killed that guy. 99 meters. 99 meters. 84 meters. I'm telling you, bro, this SMG. I'm having a bad night, bro, and this thing's still just dropping bodies. Are they in the house? Where are these guys, bro? On the roof, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna get sniped again, probably. Three, two, one. Yeah, they're there, they're there. Let's go, let's go, let's have a good game here. Come on, lock in, lock in. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't realize how many there were. All right, we need to... We need to push. We're gonna get shut out. I'm, I'm literally stuck on this rock. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. The smoke dissipated. Ah. Uh. I'll try to predict the fucking peak. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm cheating actually. Wait a minute. Oh my god, that was the most cheating thing I've ever done. Damn. No, please, please. I should have smoked it. I thought about it and I just never committed to it.
I mean, what the fuck? Like, what? I don't have anything for the vehicle, unfortunately. Okay, at least we killed it. Nice. Oh, nice fry. Might, I might bomb. I might bomb early, I think. C1. I think that's the play. Just clear him out. Get the flag. Let's do it. Fuck it. I'm, I'm full committing. Alright, I'm pushing C2 then. I'm pushing C2. Pretty sure I saw a sniper down there. Fuck. Come on, give me a good missile, bro, please. The missile, the missile was a gamble, but I, I really thought it was going to pay off for me and it unfortunately did not. That's so lucky I don't die right there. That is insanely lucky. My teammate is literally right next to that bad guy, by the way. Shit, I didn't see him. I didn't see him when I when I pushed up to reload. Or like I was still reload. God. Losing C1, bro. Close. Please, 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 please. in there pretty deep man no dude he shot me around the corner oh my god we actually came through with the win that was uh i i definitely made several mistakes at the end there um i i think i rushed the missile but i was i was i was really stressed about us just not making it to the end uh on the, on the c2 flag so i thought I thought, let's get this C-sector C started off the right way, but hey, at least we finished off 90 kills. Um, you know, not not too terrible on the death department as well. 35 assists. You know, that, this was a pretty solid round. And hopefully this, this gameplay showed y'all how effective the SMG-45 actually is. It, it, you saw me beaming those guys at 50 meters. I mean, I'm getting triple kills at 50 meters. It, it's a, it's a top-tier weapon. I would definitely recommend checking this weapon out. Um, 
please consider dropping a like and subscribing if you enjoyed today's gameplay. I really would appreciate that. Uh, Y'all have been killing it on the YouTube. But yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all take it easy. Thanks for watching.